much lesser extent of, of a stigmatization, if you like, of the gay community. Um, and, and there is now, they say now, and now, and now they can look at themselves as, as with other descriptors. So those descriptors might be, I am a small business owner, I am a property owner, I am a spouse, or I am a parent. So, so in other words, I, I define myself in a different way. But, but for the businesses themselves, and I'm sorry if I'm sort of coming around this the other way, but for the businesses that are here, what we need to have is an environment, a regulatory environment, a tax environment, a business environment that favors small business. So in other words, if there, if there is a burden on those businesses just to be able to carry on, and it will be increased by another 8 percent, by the way, for all the service businesses as of July the 1st, this is, this is a death now. It is a death now for all businesses, not just the ones here. actually scrap property tax. We believe that uh, by, uh, by getting rid of the property taxes, uh, this will enable businesses, uh, obviously, to, uh, to be, uh, would be a lot better for businesses, and uh, convert the PST into a broader base of value-added uh, tax, which means that you would lower the, uh, the, the PST, uh, enable uh, municipalities to add their own uh, tax um, and so that, that way there would be uh, competition amongst municipalities. Um, this uh, again, this would be uh, would be a lot better than again. If you look at the uh, the tax regime and, and the taxes in this province, uh, actually, I don't know if many people know that, that the income tax is actually brought into this province of Ontario by the Progressive Conservative Party uh, to pay for uh, the uh, OHIP uh, in 1969. They both uh, they they brought in OHIP. And they also brought in uh, the... Um, Wait a minute, the thing is how uh, we're going to preserve the character of the church well the neighborhood, if anybody's got suggestions. Right, well, the tax <coughs> and tax base, and tax are obviously a very important thing, so if people are paying higher taxes, uh, this might uh, discourage people from moving into the neighborhood. So that's, that's, uh, I think dealing with the tax issue is a very important thing. Okay, uh, anyone else on, on that subject? Yes, Captain? Um, I, you know, the neighborhood is about the people that live and work here, so I think um, certainly when I was going up and down uh, Church Street on Saturday with uh, Jack Layton, the store owners were bitterly complaining about the HST, that that's not going to help them stay in business. Um, I think we have to look at measures to keep people who live and work in the community here and make it attractive to others, so that would include um, making sure that people are not losing their housing, so eviction prevention measures and also looking at increasing uh, minimum wage and uh, social assistance rates. You want to know that that's what we Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, the City of Toronto Act has given, uh, past five we get together, has given the City of Toronto more abilities and uh, abilities to do regional and neighborhood economic development than any other municipality in the country has. Uh, they have the ability to extend taxes, uh, they have the ability to create corporations and have natural person power. I would suggest we take a page out of what's happened in Philadelphia and Pittsburgh's downtown and develop a partnership to declare this a national, quite frankly, historical thing. This is Canada's gay, lesbian, transgender, and bisexual main street. Uh, the McGinty government has literally <laughs> out gay mayor, um, and having lived in this neighborhood for five years over at 40 Alexander, we can use that to lift the to that. Let's build a pride house, as they did in Vancouver, for the Pan Am Games for Gay and Lesbian Athletes, and let's take the world's pride here and, 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 and make, continue the investments the McGinsey government is already making, and you can see them all around here, to build this as an iconic street. The tax reform ability that we have, to which, which, which exists, I would like to expand working with City Council to allow for cultural improvements to build the aesthetics and the facades that people could write off against the property and business tax. And I think by the time we get to the general election within 20 months, uh, we'll probably have, we will have a new City Councilor. Uh, working with you, we are going to make this the proudest, best gay main street in the whole darn world. <laughs> brought in the folks from Vancouver. Um, I'm not sure where it should be yet. Uh, I would think it needs to be in the core of the city. I have no idea exactly where it should be yet. 
Because our laws be there to actually adequately protect 